Hi, this is a quick video to show you my um, Tapwino. I think that's how you say it. It looks like a tape recorder. It looks like a tape, um, not tape recorder as such, I mean a data asset. Data asset, that's what they call them, isn't it? I think. Yeah, one of these things here. Yeah. Like this. This here replaces that. See? So you don't have to play these any longer. There as a file, as a tap file. Anyway, so uh, this is just to show you it working. So I'm going to turn it on now. So here we go. Turn it on. There we go. Right. Let's load a file. See, look, these are the buttons. I figured out that the spaces in, on the board where the buttons are, are the exactly the same spaces between these keys. So if I press, press, so this is select. So if I press that, see, okay. and I press this. You know? See? And it, I can go to different games. Right, let's do Grog's Revenge. I know I like that one. So, just reset it. All right. All right, here we go. Recording, playing now. Hold on. Going to load it so I not play. <laughs> Press play on tape. And go over here. And this is because it's select, it's play as well. So there we go. I know this um this don't look as good as that one. I didn't want to destroy a perfectly good working tape, you know, data cassette. Data as data cassette or data data asset <laughs> or, or whatever way you say it. I didn't want to destroy one just to create this. So I used an old one that I've got that I never used. That's so why it's a bit Mengi, but that's the switch. Hopefully it will work. There we go. I can hear the sound of the recording. See? I can hear it. Hold on. It's going to take a while to load, so I'm just going to pause it for a minute. Now, back again. It wasn't loading, first of all, but now it's loading. So you can hear it. Okay. I'll show you inside in uh, inside the cassette in a minute in the uh, the tap. I can never get the name right. <laughs> tap something wrong. Tap uni. Tapuino. 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 Right. It's called Tapuino. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
purpose. As you're wondering, I am still here. <laughs> Yes, it's a good picture, isn't it? Yeah, it's because I'm using this video cable. Yeah. It's there, see? See? That's who it's done by. It's upside down there. I got it from eBay. Yeah, that's done. It's loaded. And that's what it says. There you go. <coughs> this is safer, you see, because because the uh, games are put in file form, they last forever, so they don't actually degrade like cassettes do. Because cassettes come like this, you see. And then this is just transferred to a file here. And it just loads it. The top files are the files you use in emulators. But this is not an emulator. It's a Commodore 64. Hmm. Just to ask one question. What do... What of any of you think of the new Commodore 64 coming out, called the 64? Do you believe it's real or not? I hope it is. I hope all the people that have backed it. But, you know, these sites where you can, you can, um, they can do backers and all that stuff. There's always a risk that people rip off other people. So, if you're back in the 64, just be careful. That's what I say anyway. What do you think? Put the comment below if you feel you want to talk about it anytime. It's up to you. Anyway, this was a video just to show you my thingy. Alright, so, hold on. Turn it off now. Right, I'll show you the, uh, the innards. Right, here's the inside. You can see. So that's where the board is. And that's where the buttons are. I've got a bit of cardboard with with uh, plastic um, electric tape on it, and that stops the button stops these buttons here. These here. You can't really see it that well because. Hold on. Um, here we go. Yeah. Right. You see these? Between here and here is the same between here and here. This is here to stop these buttons from sl these buttons here from slipping off. You see? That's why I had to put that there. It's got a bit of blue sack there you see so it just stops the buttons from slipping off so each one see it I don't know if it was done on purpose but each one is spaced out exactly the same as these poles here are spaced out so that's how it comes it can press the buttons I think it's a kind of good idea because it makes you feel like you're still using a data cassette you know but with this inside it. A big shout out to the guy who created this board, by the way. Great guy, and thank you for making it. The two guys actually created the board. One came up with the idea and the other guy made the board. I'm trying to show you who they are. Their name's down there, but Oops, why did I turn? Sorry about that. Hold on a minute. I don't really see their name, but you know who you are. <laughs> and their name's down there anyway, but you can't really see it that well. Hold on. Yeah, it's 
not going to focus, is it? Because of that light. It's damn like stupid sometimes. Sometimes it can focus, sometimes it can't. Anyway, but that's the uh, Arduino. That's why it's called a Tabuino. Because of that, that's a Arduino Nano. You know? Don't know what that chip is. That's the speaker. So you get this as a kit and you have to actually put all the components on the board. It's just cheaper. I had to extend the wires though. So that they... I could easily just take the top off without actually having to disconnect any of the wires. So that's the... That's the SD card, there. That's where the games come from, they're on SD, on SD, on an SD card. And they get transmitted to here. And then to the display, which is here. This is the display that you see. Very clever. And there's the switch. That's the switch. I left these in because I wanted to make it look authentic. I left the counter doesn't actually, it's not rigged up to anything, it would be good if it could rig up to a motor and actually when you press pl press a file to load you see the counter actually move that'd be kind of cool anyway, it's not needed anyway anyway, that was just a look at that my new toy <laughs> yeah. Anyway, at least I completed it. I just need to change the colour of this tape data cassette to black. That's what I'm going to do with it. So it'll look like a Commodore 16 tape, tape um, data cassette. Data set, sorry, asset. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so I get muddled with my words sometimes. Anyway. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon. Bye bye now.